How can we decolonize the economy, repair our ecosystems, address wealth inequality, and build a fair and just world? Inequality, it's existed for centuries, but that doesn't mean it's a natural phenomenon. It's a political choice of wealthy elites. And it's often the multiracial working class, black people, indigenous communities, and people of color, plus those who are disabled and LGBTQIA plus folks who have experienced the worst of this unjust and unequal choice. This is why we live in what American author Bell Hooks refers to as the imperialist, white supremacist, capitalist patriarchy. Because elites didn't earn their wealth through natural intelligence or entrepreneurial gifts. They stole it through centuries of white male European privilege that has been used to justify all kinds of violent acts in pursuit of profit. This began with the brutal destruction of indigenous communities and the killing and enslavement of millions of black people. A history that has paved the way to today's climate crisis. Wealth is amassed by those who exploit and enslave people and workers to dig, burn and dump our natural resources. Over time, this has created massive levels of inequality, both between countries and within them. In 2012, it was estimated that $21 trillion of wealth was hidden in tax havens, a system that continues to concentrate power in the 1%. The origins of our modern financial tax system enable these gross injustices. Like France, charging independent Haiti to compensate the loss of income for French slave owners. A debt that was only paid off 155 years later, crippling the Caribbean nation. To today, where investments flowing through the global corporations nestled in the tax haven of the City of London are responsible for 14% of the world's carbon emissions. But tax can be a tool to right these wrongs. Imagine dismantling tax havens so we can invest in climate solutions for our most affected people and areas. Imagine a tax on financial transactions to pay off over $2,000 billion in debt imposed on global South countries by neo-colonial lenders such as the IMF and the World Bank. Imagine tax as a tool for reparative justice, as one of the many solutions to create a more stable and equitable economy. We must also begin to transform ideas of what our economy is for and what wealth means to us as a society. By rethinking tax, we can shift our priorities to the protection of our ecosystems and respect for our people, creating resources for communities to access land, food and homes, and engaging more people in collective decisions to tackle the climate crisis. Let's decolonize the economy and reimagine a financial system that is instead rooted in racial justice and social equity.